sucks. Really? Oh. And you know what? We are seeing that bay. Yeah. EJJ is like, I've watched Three, enough of you two, play Sonder, one, play Bugs. Go. This is the character to do it with. Yeah. I'm feeling myself. You know, you caught her. You caught a. You got a really convincing win on Bayo after losing game one. So like, when you're feeling yourself, you're feeling yourself. And John, unfortunately, feeling that sun salutation misses though. Nijaj is just gonna try and stall, trying to not go in too preemptively. Gets down tilt into uh -oh. this very nice conversion. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nope. Nope. Understanding that it's not gonna kill off the top, and you're not gonna kill off the side. Instead of just trying to get that little extra hit with that up there. Right. Take your damage, you know? You know, take your damage, reset for the next one, take what you can. John, good DI though. Keeping him out of that up air, up tilt back air combos. If there's anyone who knows <laughs> SDI against every character, so I think it's John. So definitely gonna be a little bit harder for EJJ here. Yeah, so EJJ is not gonna try and go for those uh, off the top kills instead, He's trying to go for the sides, yeah. instead trying to get these confirms into that back air. Oh, almost got it. Yeah, that would have been filthy. That's like when you're seeing the game a little differently and you read an air dodge like that, it feels good. But wow, just double ABK manages to still get back. Huh. It's a lot of damage, even though it's not a kill. Junin Nayatayo, still not enough. It is a killing throw. <laughs> I'm loading it into John. Oh, oh the witch time. Nothing coming out of it, though. Actually, just trying to stall John there a little bit. This isn't like Smash 4 where the last forever you can get a down smash. Yeah. And now Bayo is in that moment where she's going to struggle to kill. EJ maybe going to try and fish for a witch time here. Ooh, the deep breathing forward throw. Not enough to do it after a good uh, ledge trap soccer ball set up by John. But... Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Fall off. Dash attack will finally take it. Yeah. We're going to see some very high percents here in this set. Yeah, that was just. That was, oh. Oh. <laughs> The back hit of forward tilt gonna send EJJ to the top of the blast zone. Reset to neutral in an even game. You just can't be above John at any time. Just that missed. That was crazy. And usually that has a bit of a hit in between, like behind that APK downward hits and in the front. But uh, neither hits. John just is uh, too small. Oh, up throw to forward air. A little quick combos coming out from John and EJJ down a lot of percent. All right, nice switch twist cancel there to keep that third jump. Here we go. If any character is going to make up that percent quickly, it's Bayonetta. Goes, oh, John, great recognition. EJJ throughout which time? A second too early. John, patiently finding an upswing. Way too early. I think EJJ, well, EJJ realized, like, you know, maybe the witch time. The witch time, okay, it's not a bad idea to do so because he did use a lot of aerials, and witch time does reset lag. Right. So if you throw it out, then you can land lagless right. on, back onto stage. But if John, you know, John being very patient and actually punished it. Yeah, so I, there's not much EJJ can do. Uh, there we okay. go! Yeah. Oh. Still not securing the kill, but a great forward smash. Not enough? Yeah, I think I think Never John like slipped out of John. <laughs> I think John slipped out of EJJ's uh, combo a bit too early, and so when he had that witch time come out to try to land, uh, land lagless, you know, John was just there for the punish already. Oh no! Oh, back throw! Stop. John, no? Nope. John. All right, John missing that tech. Oh. Doesn't matter. Good Another tech. tech. Jeez. Trying to get that ledge trump doesn't get it. ABK from ledge. Every Bayo does it. Oh, that, yep, yep. Good work by John, playing super patient at the end, finding the back air across the stage, coming out, waiting on the air dodge, finding the forward air, <laughs> and just, he's able to switch from going against Sonic and playing super aggro to, like, starting to play more patient. Can we get somebody to refill tempo? EJJ's water bottle? That thing is running a little low. <laughs> Look, nothing wrong with being hydrated. No. Nothing wrong. No, you gotta be hydrated. How else are you gonna have the mental capacity to fight against the soccer ball, the sun sal, and then Weefa Trainer itself? Yeah, the deep breathing. All right, JJ's cool. having a bit of a character crisis. We're going back to Diddy. I see the line. I'm always, I'm always temperamental about switching characters mid-set after a loss. But hey, it worked against uh, Justin. It might work against John, but reverse. Listen, everybody's got somebody in their pockets. Yeah. And it's good for at least a surprise. Yeah, exactly. If not to just maybe like try to switch up the tempo a little bit, you know, put things back in your territory. You know, maybe you're unfamiliar with this matchup today, John. I know John is always ready for that Diddy matchup. Yeah, the way you say it said it makes it seem like he looks forward to it. 
Yeah, well, he's like, okay, I can do this. This isn't, this isn't gonna be difficult. Yeah. Or as difficult as, like, Bayo with all these, you know, aerial combos that I have to be <laughs> wary of. Low profiling the F smash. I don't think he actually low profiled it. I think it missed, but pretty cool to see him try to do it. Yeah. John trying to pressure from all the way on the other side of the stage with the soccer ball. Baiting the EJJ to come out first. Yeah, he has the lead, so he's just stalling with soccer ball. Oh! oh no. Okay. Oh. Did that gonna be enough? No. Challenging off stage with wow. the hula hoops. EJJ a little confused that that worked. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused myself. That's some big brain by numbers. Now we know why he looks forward to this matchup so much, and it's because, like, he just negated his whole recovery. That was crazy. Yeah, I remember Diddy's of the is vulnerable to, like, if you hit it with a light tap, then he kind of just tumbles away, and he has a lot of, uh, of hit stun. Mm -hmm. Effectively. It's not actual hit stun. It's like a special animation for when you knock him out of bananas. Um, it's like an air tumble. So yeah, yeah. if you're able to put out meaty moves versus Diddy Kong's recovery, uh, it can be super effective versus him. So like at that point, Diddy was like forced to recover straight up, and so uh, Wee Fit's up B is like perfect for that because he can just go up really slow with a constant hitbox. And it's like try to get uh, try to get around this stupid, and you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we just saw a really greedy Z drop down air banana from uh, from EJJ. Ended up not being a big deal. Gets the stock from John, and uh, yeah, a little reset going on here. John opting to stay at the ledge, you know, maybe stall the game out a bit, throw his soccer balls, make EJJ get rid of that banana. If you get rid of that, if he gets rid of that banana and you get hit off stage at ledge, it's not a big deal compared to if you get hit on stage. So, John just doing his best to like keep the tempo out for CJJ to make a mistake like that. Yeah. Capitalize. EJJ just putting it on a mental stack to be like, okay, I don't want to be too close to ledge. Yeah. But you also have to be careful with this banana. We are seeing these Z-drops into these aerials that just keep it in hand because EJJ is starting to realize that John loves catching that banana. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. You have another projectile to play with? Don't give more tools to John. Yeah. <laughs> this guy labs this. Look at him. He's Z-dropping Z dropping banana doing aerials right now. Well, the Not reason you want to keep Z-dropping is so that you can actually do an aerial. Because yeah, if yeah. you have it in hand, you're going to throw the banana instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. Banana going to waste. John taking a little reset. Finds an air into nothing. Chooses to be patient. Gets punished for it with a down throw. John Number is uh, contributing to America's food waste crisis. Look at that, staying at ledge, if you get hit by the banana, it's like, oh. And a confirmed does it. John moves on to grand finals 2-0 over EJJ. Yeah, you I think know. you should have stuck with Bayo. I agree, I agree. And I'm always temperamental about switching characters mid-set, especially in a best of three. I mean, EJJ's been playing Diddy all day, though, so I don't think it's like that big of a deal. But like, are you, are you a believer of you don't switch horses mid-race? In a best of five? After game one, yeah. go for it. Yeah. But then you can't switch again. And okay, a best of right. three, no. You can't mm. switch horses mid-race. You, you you, gain so much information your first game against people, right? And, and it can be really character specific. So then when you switch off one to another, unless you're like Fawn playing Samus to Duck Hunt, where it's like, okay, I'm trying this character out, then let me go to my predominantly strong character. Mm -hmm. Right? If that's the case, do it whenever. Yeah. But majority of the time, if you lose a game and then you're like... Oh, uh, you know, I'm not feeling it, and you switch to another. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Well, listen, like, Fawn, like, as you say, as an example, like, every single...